All right. So I'm going to start with the wings. And what I did is first, I just took a cookie cutter and it's one of the leaf shaped cookie cutters. I don't know. Is it Wilton? It is a Wilton. Um, and I took uh, an edible marker, just any edible marker that you have. And we I have them. We sell them. Did you know that? I didn't. But you know what we I forgot to get from you? I forgot what? to order a one of the pen knives. I totally forgot about that. Anyway, oh, no. I'll get one next time. Let's just so take her off all air I, right now. <laughs> all I did is I just traced around that cookie cutter with my edible marker. And then I cut out my wing. What are you so cutting it from? What is that? Oh, right. It's a cello sheet, or as Mitchie likes to call them, cello sheets. Sheets. Yeah, then I hit her. <laughs> I love that one. I love it so much. <laughs> it's awesome. Yeah, so I'm that's cut this out. And once I get down here, there we go. Okay, so this one, as you can see, I didn't cut this one out. I left it on and painted it first. But one thing that I found, because I'm, you know, learning curve, new thing to use. Um, I found that after I painted on this, even though it was dry, it was really hard to get it off of the backing. So I'm going to take this off the backing first and lay it on here and then paint it. So I know, I know which side is the, the uh, actual food side sheet so i'm just gonna do a little touch just to make sure that i'm right <laughs> so yeah the cello sheets are really awesome because they are clear but it's also one of the problem parts about it because you can't tell the front from the back um it's clear. some people like kind of just they can you can feel it after a while um but um if you can't you can just kind of wet the corner some people just kind of slice it to tell um but they are printable just like our other sheets um and there's many different ways to use them so here we go and you have the issues with that knife so just hang on it's because she doesn't have the pen blade I from icing images i know i but... have to put it over onto my <laughs> onto my workbench so i can cut it for real so, just so you're not going to be like heather here is the link for those pen blades Okay, I'm doing another one, that's not working. <laughs> I give up on that. Okay, I'm gonna do it differently this time. I'm actually not gonna cut the wing out completely. I'm just gonna do this. This is gonna make it easier. Okay, so now I have a little spot where I can cut that and I'm just gonna grab my X-Acto because that's what I've got. So yeah, so the problem, she, the problem she had is that um she had cut it to shape already so she had no room like she was using every part of it <coughs> so sorry. Exactly. <coughs> yeah so she made it just a little bit bigger so she has a part she can kind of slice them and peel back like a sticker right, so. right. and now i'm like do i have the right side yeah <laughs> just a little bit of water yeah okay i got it harriet i think everybody's doing well we hope you're safe too there we go. When is now, the supposed to hit? I heard tomorrow in Florida. Is it? That's Great. what I heard. I hope everybody in Florida stays so safe. You can all come up here. I'm going on the road. We stay at our house. We need a house sitter. As I announced to the world, I'm not going to be here. And everyone's going to break me. <laughs> Thankfully, nobody really knows where I live. <laughs> okay. Everybody else makes this look so much easier, Debbie. Okay. I got it. Because you have gloves on, sweetie. That's why you can't feel it the same way. That's I why. And I, I never, I never not wear gloves. So, you know, okay, got it. Done. Okay. So now I'm just going to lay that on here. Okay. And then I'm going to take a little bit of my lusters. And what I did, instead of using water with these, I actually used paper potion just to test it out and see if it would work. And it did. Okay. I don't know if anybody else has done that or not, but that's what I did. 
Yeah, a lot of places paint um, with dust. They paint with a paper potion. That's actually one of the first ways people did it. Well, I can't say that. Yeah. I had never noticed anybody do it, so I thought I'm just going to try it, and it worked. So I was like, "Hey, that that eliminates water and eliminates vodka, and it worked exactly. really well." So I'm just doing a little squirt in each one in the top, and I just do it in the cover so that I don't waste any product because I hate wasting product. Okay, get it that out of the way and this out of the way. And then I just start with a little bit of my mixed up paint. Can you see that, Debbie? Yeah, yeah, you're doing okay. good. Okay, so all I did is I just kind of layered color partially up that wing and then just give brush a little wipe out between. I'm actually gonna make it a little thicker because that wasn't quite thick enough to see it on camera anyway. I don't know if we've seen anybody live that has made wings out of the cello sheet yet. No, I could be wrong. I could be wrong. Um, but uh, that's just on the lives. I know people have done it, but so this is great. Okay, so all I did is I just, I'm just kind of tapping it in. And here comes my son to video bomb. <laughs> Say hi, Rowan. Hey. Hi, Rowan. I don't know if you can see it or not, but he's beside me. We can see your hand. <laughs> Rowan, you have to get underneath the camera if you want us to see you, but we could hear you. Hey, hey. Hey, buddy, what'd you do to your hand? I broke my arm. Well, that's not good. No, you it do wasn't. It was I'm bad. so sorry. Trampoline. The trampoline ah. is gone, just so you know. <laughs> <laughs> we got rid of that. It is out of here. Yeah, was, trampolines do nothing, that. I, Honestly, there's nothing worse than seeing your child in excruciating pain. It's just awful. Yeah. So I said, we are not using trampoline ever again. Yeah, we so did, I'm just we... adding. Oh, sorry, mm -hmm. go ahead. No, you finished. This is more important than my stories. Okay. <laughs> so I'm just adding a little bit more of the gold in here and kind of blending it. And if you have too much paint on your brush, just brush it off a little bit and pull some of that in. And as you can see, that's starting to bubble a little bit. That's okay because it's going to dry. It's not a big deal. And it won't, so that, it won't be so warped. It, it will warp a little bit, but not as bad as what you'd think. Gotcha. And then I'm just wiped off my brush and I'm going to take some of that silver because I really want to use all the colors. I'm a colorful kind of girl, so you know. Gotcha. We have our friend Rochelle, Rochelle Ingerham on live with us. It's nice to see you, sweetie. Hello. Okay. Rochelle's going to do a live too. Yeah. She what? Roche Rochelle's going to do a live with the with cello oh. sheets too. Right, oh. Rochelle? Whoops. And okay. Ellie okay. is on. So I'm going to move these out of the way. And I let these dry before I put the covers back on, just so you know. Gotcha. Okay, I'm gonna get this out of the way. Actually, no, I'm not. Yes, I am. Okay. No, so I'm not. Yes, I am. No, I'm not. And I'll actually show you the book that was the inspiration for this. <coughs> Excuse me. Can you see it? Yes, we can. It's Lady Cottington's Pressed Fairy Book. <laughs> you mean smushed? I say smushed, but it's called pressed. They, gotcha. She pressed them. Anyway, gotcha. it's hilarious if you ever want to look it up. Okay, so now I'm going to attempt to get this off of here again. Because this is the one that I painted right on the cello sheet. And we have to take the cello sheets off before we put any um, ice malt on it. Right, right. Oh, you're it's using some ice malt today too. Yes. You I'm mean to say ice you're ice gonna ice. use that amazing Simi. The most incredible. The most amazing. The best so, it is. It's clear. And it it's, it's awesome to use, easy to use. It's and it's, drum roll, what is it? Simi. 
Jimmy! Cakes! Ice bolt! Woohoo! Best stuff ever. It is. It is the best that you can get. I've tried other stuff. I've even tried cooking my own. And it doesn't, nothing compares. This is, this is the best product for, for isomalt that there is, in my opinion. Yes. And in many opinions. There's lots think, of us that love it. I think you have a relative on, only because there couldn't be more than what, it couldn't be a coincidence that there's two people with the same last name on, Sam and, so Melanie's on. That's my That's sister. That's my sister. Hi, Mel. Hi, Mel. It's all right. She's my She's oldest, oldest sister. sister. She's gonna be so mad at me. I said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna take some of my ice malts, and I've got a little bit already in my bowl. So I'm just gonna put a few more pieces in. In we go. And I probably don't need that much, but I'm gonna put it in anyway. Pop it in my microwave. And I'm just going to give it, let's see, we'll do 20 seconds and I'll check it. I usually yes. only do 20 second increments because I don't want to burn it. I did burn one of these. <laughs> this one was a little darker than the other one by mistake. Whoopsie. But it happens really easily if you're not paying attention and I wasn't paying attention. So I caught yeah. it before it was really bad. Gotcha. Gotcha. And we okay, got Jesse so on the line. Jesse's in Naples in the hurricane. Sorry, go ahead. Nope, that's okay. Um, it's not quite melted, so I'm going to put it in for another, I'm going to do 15 seconds uh -huh. and see what happens because it's not a lot of isomalt, so I don't want to put tons in there. Right. And that's what's important when you're melting the isomalt is just, you know, 20 to 30 seconds at a time, depending on your microwave. Um, That's right. Because it kind of melts a little bit afterwards, too. Um, yeah. Melanie said that she is the much older, prouder sister. <laughs> she was just here. I said to her, why don't you stay? And she said, no, you have to work. <laughs> <laughs> so it's kind okay. of the same thing, Melanie. You're here. <laughs> it's, it's true. She's still here, but she's not in my presence. Yes. She came for chocolate. <laughs> We'll all be there soon. Okay, so it's not completely melted, but I'm not mad about that because I am only pouring a little bit. Um, so I'm just going to let my bubbles settle. And while it's settling, I'm going to take a piece of paper towel. If I can get it over here. And I'm just going to spray a tiny, tiny bit of, of uh, canola oil is what I have for oil that I use for my ice malt. And then I have a rectangular shaped cookie cutter and I'm just gonna wipe that cookie cutter down with a little bit of oil. Gotcha. Okay. Then I'm gonna just bring this back over cause I'm gonna use a little bit of this. So I'm just gonna add a tiny bit of oil to this just cause I don't want it to stick. And this is for the backing or you could make a window. So it looks like the fairies smushed into the window or have a cookie and have a window cookie that is and have the very in between two pieces of ice malt in mm -hmm. your cookie so it looks like it's smushed into a window you know like the i think there's decorations that are witches that have run into a wall well it's kind of that that kind of idea so, so could this I be idea, i have a question for you yep. could this be fairies smashed on the windshield of your car too absolutely <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. That would be priceless. Yeah. Just saying. The fairy's going to come get me. I just know it. Yeah. I'm starting to get paranoid now. So I'm just pouring this into my little cookie cutter mold. I hope I'm doing Sydney justice. You're doing wonderful. Sydney so is all of my proud. Bottles settled. And then I'm just going to set that aside. And I take this, a scribe tool, and just kind of push it into the corners to make sure that it's getting where it needs to go. And then I just let it sit, let it sit and cool down. So I'm going to slide this out of the way for a minute. And now 
one thing that I did, the fairy was made with um, paste, like I said, but I made, I made clay out of icing sheets that were left over and it works really well. So what I did this time though, again, playing around with the paper potion is I mixed pieces of my icing sheets. So I just took little bits like this that were left over, broke them up. Even stuff that seems like it's dried out, don't throw it away, use it. Like just keep it in a baggie. And as long as it's not out of its due date, you're good to go. So just rip it up in shreds, whatever. Even if it has a little bit of color on it, that doesn't matter. And put a little bit of water on it. I don't put a ton. And then give it a stir. Now I usually break my pieces up a little bit smaller than this, but because of time, I won't. I'll just leave it like this, just to give you the idea in case somebody's watching that has never done this before. Um, and then once I get it all mixed around and it's more like, it looks like the paper is taking on the water, then I throw it in the microwave for about 10 seconds and it'll look like you have exploded it like a puffed up marshmallow, <laughs> but it's not, it's actually turned to clay. Um, and then once it gets to that point, I give it two little squirts of, for a portion this size of paper potion. Because one thing that I found with paper potion is it helps with the shrinkage. It doesn't seem like it does, paper still shrinks a little bit, but it doesn't shrink as much when it's drying. If, unless like if you were to use water instead of paper potion. So I love paper potion and it smells fantastic by the way. Like <laughs> it smells so good. So well, that's great. all I do to make my clay. Just mix this all up and see so you can see it breaking down already. That's awesome. So I will stick that in the microwave and then, oh, and the other, there is one more step that I do with this. I put a little tiny bit of cornstarch in there after it comes out of the microwave because it's quite sticky and the cornstarch allows you to, to mix it up better into a more pliable clay form. And then I add the paper potion. So. I love this idea. Um, I don't think anyone's done it like this. The paper potion um, a long time ago used to have alcohol in it, um, never had water. Um, it, uh, so now it's no water, no alcohol in it. Um, so I guess it makes that clay really easy with your icing images, uh, icing sheet scraps. That's pretty it darn does. awesome. And you, don't, and you don't have to like, to not waste them because everybody has misprints everybody has a screwed up piece um and we all know that it, it just sucks when that happens but you don't want to throw it away so this is a way to reuse that so if it was if i had the colored sheet you know when you mix all of those colors together like if i had done this piece for instance um you'd end up with kind of a gray or a, or a dark brown in the end on the clay here but you can add a whole bunch of darker colors to it, like purple or whatever, whatever you wanted to do to mix up a color in this, you know? So yeah. what I'm going to do is I'm going to make a fairy head. So look how beautiful that just rolled up. Wow. Isn't that awesome? What would you compare that to a fondant or a gum paste or something totally different? Cause you called it a clay. <laughs> It feels like Play-Doh because it okay. has elasticity to it. See how it like bounces? Gotcha. So it's more like, it feels like Play-Doh, like a, or like a salt clay. Like my okay. mom used to make me when I was little. So I'm just, I'm going to make this one a little bit bigger. Okay. And then all I do is I just take it to make a shape of a head. I just kind of pinch the sides and pinch the front of it. And again, this doesn't have to be perfect because she is going to be smushed. <laughs> <laughs> Let's just be real, no perfection needed. So I'm gonna actually put where my eyes are gonna be. 
and I'm going to pinch her nose up just a slightly. Give her a little nose. Now, does that, um, I'm, I'm asking all these questions because I'm trying to figure out what it's similar to. So it's like a Play-Doh. Does that, is it easier or harder or just different than as far as like if you were going to model with maybe some fondant or gum paste? Um, uh, initially, initially, it's, it's, it's easier, easier than mm -hmm. modeling chocolate because it seems it has that squish factor that modeling chocolate doesn't have quickly. Like okay. you have to really work and same with fondant, you have to really work it into a workable kind of malleable state. Uh -huh. and this immediately is in this state. Like there's, okay. it, it doesn't kill your hands. So if you have arthritis, this is a great medium to use. Great Love medium it. for sculpting. Um, okay. Now there is crack, felt. there's a crack factor on this one. When it dries, it'll start to crack a little bit. But again, for a project like this, it's really no big deal. You know, you can use whatever. So I'm just going to add her little eyes in. Oops, right. I'm going to drop the little eyes. And I'm just going to kind of make this one look a bit ghoulish. So again, no perfection here. <laughs> and I think we're going to make her look like she's going, oh, frightened. I'm frightened. Okay. And I'm going to add a better nose because her nose doesn't look really the greatest. Even though, again, Beth, it's going to be smashed. Bev wants to know if you can use this clay icing sheet in molds. Yes, you can. Do you Absolutely. need to treat the molds first? Um, the only thing that I've ever done is I added a little bit of cornstarch a couple of times. That was about it. Nothing okay. major. Um, they, they, it, when it dries, it shrinks, so it pops out, you know, okay. it doesn't shrink badly, but it shrinks a little bit and it'll pop out. I ended up with ice molds on the end of this. So, oh, well, we're just now, gonna... will it eventually get hard like gum paste or stay soft? Uh, it hardens up. Hard. I'll see if I can, no, where did I put, just a second, I'll see if I can find one that's dry if I spam it. Oh, Belinda, that question was from yours. Okay, sorry, I just kind of saw the BEs and just went right on. <laughs> now, I know um, several years ago, um, our, our late friend, uh, Nicholas Lodge, made it and our paper potion then had alcohol in it. Um, and so he was using water and measurements because he was very precise. Um, and so this is just a little bit different because of the um, paper potion not having that water in it anymore. And there's other ingredients that gives it that clay type factor. Okay. Right, right. Okay, so okay, this so came this out of Up towards you a little bit. Towards me? Okay. Yeah, there we go. Perfect. And it is hard as a rock now. It's okay. been it's been dried for probably three months. Okay. But it's and a little it's a little rose out of a rose mold. So if you bang it on the table, does it make noise or does it break? Oops, it bounced off the head. <laughs> the fairies are totally coming. We heard it. We heard it. It made a clink sound. So that gives you guys an idea. It's, it's hard. It's like, it almost sounds like when you drop a royal icing flower onto a table that's dry, like that's yeah. what it sounds like to me. Um, now, is it as hard so when you bite into it, will it break your teeth or? It's hard. Like, okay. it's, it's solid. Like, I'm, I'm, oh, yeah, look at that. Pressing, but, and I honestly, I don't mind if I break it, just so you know. Um, yeah, okay. it's, it's got some give to it, but it's not breaking. So okay. I can say this would be an edible feature, but mm -hmm. definitely could use it on cake as decoration or cookie as right. decoration, you know, because there are some decorations that people really shouldn't eat because it's hard on their teeth. <laughs> that means it's a sucker then. <laughs> right, it's a sucker. So suck on that, but that's what this will do. It'll, <laughs> I said that. I'm so sorry. You um, just <laughs> did. <laughs> Hence the laughter. <laughs> okay. So I've got my little girl head 
whatever you want to call her. And I'm just going to make a quick body. Again, I'm not really, I don't really care what she looks like because we are going to have her smushed. Smushed. And, and honestly, I wasn't trying to break her neck right there. She just moved sideways on her own. That was not me. <laughs> She's alive. I'm oh, sorry. <laughs> so I'm just making two little tubes. I'm just going to roll them like this so you can see that I'm getting about the same size for her arms. And then I just roll them out into little tubes. And then what I'm doing here is I'm leaving the extended part of her arm out and I'm just pinching the edge of the top of that tube. Oops, that one I pinched too much. I'll try the other end. So I'm going to pinch that just at the top a little bit and that's going to be your hand. So then I just press that down and press this down and we've got a hand. So you can see how it kind of cracks a little bit, but that's going to happen with this just because of what it is. And then we just stick her little arms underneath her body to stick her together or on the side. See, she wants her head to be broken. I don't know what's going on with her. We'll do it this way. She's, She's trying to freak me out. out. Way to kick off the Halloween season, Heather. <laughs> the fairy is coming to get you. <laughs> okay. So, and that's basically how I do her legs as well. Now, what I did for her dress and her hair is I used, where did I put it? I have too many things in front of me. I used the Smart Sheets. These are fantastic. I love them. I had Move it away from you a little bit. bit. Move it away a little bit. We can see only the oh, bottom. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for guiding me. So I had never used these before and I love them. They are so versatile. It's amazing. Now, so what um, I I've got a question before you move on. Belinda wanted to know if you can make cake toppers out of that clay. Um, I think you probably could. I've never ventured to make anything bigger than just a mini kind of thing with it. Uh -huh. But I think you probably could. I'll have to try it. Okay. Or somebody else try it and, and let us know what, how it worked out. But Yeah, Belinda, you can try it. I can try it. Sure. I'll try <laughs> no. it. I'm saying what? Belinda can try it. Yeah, Belinda can try yeah, it. Yeah, ask the questions. Yeah. Because I would like to know too. So I took just little pieces of the smart sheets and I took, I really like that rose gold. It's so pretty. So I'll use that. And then I took my paper potion again. But this time, I gave this paper a little bit of a spritz first on the front and the back. And then I just let that sit in for a minute until it becomes a little bit pliable, not so stiff and rigid. And then I took my dust and I just started layering it on and rubbing it around with my brush. And if I you love find it. that it, keep going. That? You keep going, oh. I don't interrupt you. I found that if it gets dry, just add a little bit of that paper potion into the top of your, of your container again. Don't spray it back onto your paper and just keep going with your color. Now I did both sides of my paper because when you're doing a dress like if the dress were to flip up on the back end you still want it covered you want the the color to show through so i did both sides this way and i did it immediately i just rubbed this all on and then i picked it up and flipped it over and did the back side just I as like easy how, as that i like how fabric like it gets when you hit it with the paper potion Oh, it's amazing. I love it. 
Now I used the Flex Frost today and I'll show you after we're done what I did with it. Okay. And I like it, but I like this better. Interesting. So you've used the paper potion to make the clay. Like yeah, you've used the paper potion to, to make the clay, to paint with, and then also to make the smart sheets into a fabric-like paper. Yes. And I'm gonna just add some of the silver so you can see what that looks like on here because it's so pretty too. I mean, they're all pretty. These, these are awesome. I love them. I'm actually gonna just add a tiny bit more. Oops. Okay. There, that's showing up better. A little brighter. And so then I just set it off to dry. Because once you pick it up, I mean, I could work with it right now but it does have the tear factor because it is wet still. But once it's dry, look at that. Wow. It's so beautiful. I love how shiny it is. Um, and I like that it's shiny on both sides. I do too. And what I like about this paper too is that, I mean, with most um, wafer papers, you do have that rough side and a, a smooth side. So this just accentuates that. So you could use this side even almost like a paper mache if you wanted to cover a lizard because it has a very similar texture Ooh. to it as lizard skin or a purse, for instance, like you were doing purse cake. And then just layer yeah. on some of your dust and you've got a beautiful leather-like look. So yeah. what I did from here is I just, I took some of the glue this is Little Honey's glue. Awesome glue. I like it a lot. You're like using okay. a thousand tons of our product here. That's pretty impressive. I, am. I wanted to showcase everything I have. <laughs> you did. So I'm just going to add a little tiny dab here and there of the Little Honey's. And then I'm just going to take this and kind of smoosh it together almost like pleats and this will be her dress so i'm just gonna stick it on her just like this i might have made her dress too big so if you find it's too big just pull it back off and snip a piece off of it and don't throw that piece away <laughs> <laughs> never ever throw it away okay oops I'm just going to hold it for a second to make sure it sticks. Okay. Now for her hair, I use the same, those same um, smart sheets. But what I did is I, I cut strips just like this. And then I cut a piece that will go in behind her head to kind of look like her hair is swooshed out behind her head. So I just kind of did like jagged cutting, nothing major, just wherever my, wherever my scissors wanted to land. So it kind of looks like a crown. And then these pieces, since they're dry now, what I'm gonna do is just add a little tiny bit of paper potion to them. Make sure it gets on all the pieces. And then I just gave them like a little twist. And you just kind of mash them up, whatever. Because again, she is a smushed fairy. This one's not staying together for me. It's probably because I'm wearing gloves. I wasn't wearing gloves before when I did it before. Yeah, the gloves but are full on. I like to wear gloves. And I like to wear gloves when I'm working anyway on customer orders. Because, you know, I'm used to wearing gloves for that. So actually... Let's do it with this one. Let's try the wet one. It's probably going to work better. Yeah, it's going to work better. So maybe once you do this, when you get it wet, 
if you're going to do hair, just twist it up first. So see how it twists really easily compared to the one that was dry. And then just add that underneath of her head so that her hair is kind of coming out all over the place. And when she's dry, then you can paint her face and whatever if you want to, or just put dots for eyes even. It really wouldn't matter. Um, because she's not dry enough for me to actually do that yet. Well, she is smushed, so wouldn't... Um, it's true. I her, eyes, her eyes would be popped out. It's true. <laughs> Sorry. It's true. <laughs> I just had to say. I know. I you're trying to get the fairies to come get me, aren't you? You are. You're trying. The fairies are coming. The fairies are coming. There are. They're going to come get me. And Nancy, my sister, my other sister is going to be like, told you so. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh okay, so you get the gist of the hair so yes hair. very cute okay so i'm going to set her aside for a minute and bring back my wing now what did i do with my okay so first thing i'm going to do is i'm actually going to get this off of here see how nicely that came off Boink. Look at that beauty. Look at it. It's gorgeous. 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 Simply gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. Okay. So to get this off of there, I'm just going to take my torch. Torch around the edges of my cookie cutter. And try not to catch anything on fire because I have actually caught my countertop on fire. Whoops. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that takes I some effort. That. I seem to be a oh I seem to be a pyromaniac. Whoopsie. And then I didn't tell my husband. He was like, "What are those bubbles?" <laughs> Oops. <laughs> so now you leave it. And I, I'm the most impatient person ever. So I'm like, I want to touch it now, but it's super hot. So don't touch it yet. Just wait for a second. Just look at your hands. They're I'm just like, trying really hard. <laughs> I, I'm instant gratification girl. See, it's super hot. It's hot. It's hot. Can't help it. I'm gonna do it. I'm doing it. <laughs> oh, it doesn't want to come out. Dag nabbit. I'll probably break this one. Oh, I didn't. Yeah. I didn't look at me go. Ta-da! Okay, so see these little guys? I'm not pro like Sid or Brooke or Tammy. I try. <laughs> You're doing great. So I'm just going to give them a little bit of a hit with my gun. Then I'm going to try to wait again <laughs> you're worse than me oh, oh I'm so away. Bad. I just wanted... okay, your hands they can't control themselves you know it? it stopped me at least i'm wearing so, gloves like some other people don't that i know brooke <laughs> <laughs> brooke just say it just say Not it my name's brooke no <laughs> How many burns has Brooke have had? I think she's had a few. Yeah. But she doesn't seem to care. Yeah. Her okay. war marks. It's true. It's kind of like, it's like the tattoo of the ice malt world. Burn marks. <laughs> it's, it, oh my gosh. When, I was in, when I was in college, I was in graphic arts and my instructor <laughs> told me that I was not going to be a true graphic artist until I sliced myself with an X-Acto knife. I didn't slice myself until graduation year. And it was, I was finishing up my portfolio at the end of the year. And that's when I sliced myself. So I, I can say I'm a true graphic artist. So it's kind of like that. Okay. It is. It's kind of like that. You have to burn yourself to be able to say that you are a sugar artist. Yeah. I might not be the best. But I'm a sugar artist. Hey, you're better so than I'm me. Giving this a torch on both sides, and then I'm gonna let it sit because it has to sit now. I can't touch it anymore. All right. Well, so, Brooke, now Brooke had I'm something to say, my dear. Brooke, 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 Brooke had something to say while we're all talking about her. She said she feels <laughs> that she's per personally attached. Then she fixed it and said attacked. You said L M A O. And then she says, I was gone for five minutes. I come back and you're all talking crap. <laughs> We love you, Brooke, and you know it. It's when we don't talk about you, you should worry. That's right. That's right, Bev? Right. No, just kidding. <laughs> What'd she say? 
I said, right, Bev? Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh my gosh. Bev on? I love yeah. Bev on. She's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so now I'm, I've put my, micro, my uh, microwave, yes. I've put my ice melt back in the microwave and I'm gonna go for 20 seconds because we need to do this part now. My wing. Where did I hey, Brooke, I didn't write that comment. Lori did, just so you know. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> What's super true? I missed I miss what we were talking about. What? What's super true? So, oh, um, oh, what we were saying before, if we're not right, talking right. about you, something's wrong. Or, right, right, Bab? <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. So, now I'm just waiting for my bubbles to settle. I hate waiting. Actually, I'm going to hit it again. There's some of it that's not quite melted enough. <laughs> Okay. Almost there. You're doing great, my dear. You're doing great. Okay. Try not to bring myself. Okay. We'll let that settle. I actually like watching the bubbles. It's kind of mesmerizing, really. Now you can poke them. See, I just poked it. I couldn't see. I can't stop myself. <laughs> <laughs> I wonder if it's still on. Right there. It's just wants to be poked. Poke it. <laughs> Brooke's going to yell at me. I can't help it. I can't help That's it. That's okay. Okay. Now I have to get the ice melt off the end of my <laughs> scribed tool. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops, I'm stuck. Okay, come on. Hurry up. Hurry up already. <laughs> Boss. I think you can kind of tap it, can't you? Like, that's what I do, because I can't stand waiting. I'm shooting it with some fire. I'm going to get in trouble for doing that too, probably. Oh, well, it's done. I do Look it. at that, and, and suddenly the bubbles are gone. Um, <laughs> okay, so I like to use silicone bowls that have lots of flex to them so I can pour easily and control the pour. So because this is such a small piece, this way I can control how much of the ice melt actually gets on there at a time and make sure that I get it where I want it because I'm not actually using a mold. You could use a mold like I did with the rectangle, um, but I kind of like doing it this way, a little more free form. And then I just take my scribe and I push it out to the edges of where I want that wing to be. So it's almost like cookie decorating. Because in cookie decorating, you use your scribe to push out the royal icing. It's about it's the same motion that I'm using to get that out to the edge of my painting. Wow. Carol Fisher just joined us a little bit late, but she's gonna go back and watch when we dish Brooke. She's gotta see that. Because okay. Carol would have added on like tremendously, and Brooke would have just been totally, you know, oh. <laughs> obliviated. <laughs> Hi, Carol. Hi, Carol. Okay, so I'm going to okay. do that again on this one. Holding my little bowl. And this is a bigger wing, so I'm just going to pull it back here. Now, one thing I did on the other wings is I actually put the lines on the wings first before I did this, but this time I decided I would do it this way and then draw them on after. I will try not to stick my hand in the one that's underneath my hand, because that would not be good. <laughs> but we, you know, it would be something. It would be something I would do though. They almost look a little bit like oysters. Like I could see you totally making an oyster shell like out of something like this. Oh yeah. Just yeah. from a distance. Or, or mother of pearl. Like you totally could do a shell yeah. looking like that. Okay. And you may you may even be able to use the white cello for that because it would give that solid background. Um, I do have but, a white cello here. I should try that. Yeah. And then with all those, the way you're mixing those colors, man, it would be really pretty. Yeah. So there's there they are. Try to pick them up here. Bring them up a little bit closer. Is that good? Yeah, move it away from you just a little bit. There we go. Perfect. 
You're really good with this, uh, with my direction. That's gorgeous. I'm trying, I'm gorgeous. Trying. gorgeous. <laughs> it's gorgeous. Okay. Okay. So, wow, so, that's so, so pretty. But now we can pick this up and play with it. Yay. Yay. And what I do with these, like everyone usually does when they work with sugar, is once you're ready to spray it with glaze. Otherwise, it gets cloudy real fast and sticky depending on where you are in the world. Now here, it gets sticky at the drop of a hat because right now it's quite muggy. Um, it's, we don't, we're not in a dry climate at all. So this isomalt tends to go really fast if you don't treat it. So I always spray at least one coat on one side and one coat on the other before I work with it. Um, Cause you can see already that it's, it's starting to get foggy compared yeah. to this one. So that's what I do immediately when it's done, spray it and then carry on. Hey, Lori, and that almost looks uh, mirror like. Go ahead. I just wanted to point something out to her. Go ahead. Oh, okay. <laughs> sorry. No, no worries. No worries at all. Okay. So I'm going to take my wings and get them out of the way for a second and bring back my girl. And what's her name? I don't know. You name her. You guys got to name her. Responsibility of naming her. I think we should name her Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh! So she okay. says, by the way, if you all were nice to me, if nice to me, I wouldn't know how to act. But Sydney said that she loves her. <laughs> <laughs> we all love Brooke. We love her. She's amazing. Okay. Yes, she is. For the case of time, I'm just going to do a little bit of a pink mouth with a marker. Have I ever told you that I can't do makeup? I don't do makeup. <laughs> I don't usually either. I can I can make a whole bunch of things, but and paint things, but I can't do makeup worth crap. So my kids are now between almost 20 and 24. And if I wear any makeup, they freak out. Take it off! Take it off! That's not natural! It's so funny. You know what this reminds me of right now? What? It reminds me of that foam clay that kids play with. Oh, yeah. See, I'm squishing it, and but it's bouncing back. Oh, yeah, I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, That's the, what it the mold, me of. What is it? Maker? Oh, I can't remember the name. Somebody's going to remember it and tell, say it. I'm not I, even going to try I hard. I don't remember either. I know exactly what it is because it's the only kind of Play-Doh I'd let, allow in the house. Well, that's what it reminds me of. Okay, yeah, I'm model maker, use... ma ma model magic, or something like that. Yeah, magic. something like that. So I'm just Ooh. taking my little honey's glue again okay. and putting a few dots on that isomalt, and I'm gonna lift up my weird little creature. <laughs> And stick her on. You mean Brooke? Oh yeah, Brooke. Sorry, I'm sticking Brooke on. Whoops. Brooke's clothes are falling off. Brooke, get a hold of yourself. Brooke. <laughs> Brooke. Okay, <laughs> <Good job. Lord. laughs> this is a PG show, you know. No, it's not. <laughs> okay, I'm getting rid of the dress. Sorry, Brooke is naked. <laughs> naked, Brooke. <laughs> I'm going to go in with a different dress, one that's not you, dry already. You know, none of us are surprised that Brooks does not have her clothes on. <laughs> <laughs> What's really funny is like, there's a lot of people on here who know each other. It's all the other people that have no clue who these people are. That we're talking about. <laughs> they're like, gosh, they're mean. They're like, what are they talking about? <laughs> Brooke sounds so poor Brooke. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh, that's hilarious. She loves it. Brooke, and Brooke, everyone, everyone has to follow Brooke just because we're so mean to her. Yes, definitely. <laughs> Go follow her. Check out her cool yep. stuff she makes. She's amazing. She's actually very, very talented. Yes, she sort is. Of. No, just kidding. <laughs> She's she is pretty super, good. super talented. Okay. So <laughs> she's always got it. 
<laughs> Trisha no, says, <laughs> I, I need to tell you this. <laughs> Trisha says, oh my, what did I just log on to? <laughs> She just came on. Brooke is like, y'all gonna ruin my reputation for these poor souls. But we're broke. I don't understand. It's already ruined. Oh my I god. You, I love you, sweetie. And she oh, knows I love her. Oh my gosh. Go ahead. Sorry, we're just back, back to the demo. You. Yeah. We absolutely love back you. To the demo. Yeah, she's okay. amazing. So I have her stuck on. I'm gonna move her to the side again. So I can go back to my wings because I think they should be okay now. Oh, look at that, popped right off. See that? Perfect. It's lovely. So now I'm just gonna take my scissors and I'm gonna cut that cello sheet right off the excess. And I'm not throwing it away because I'm gonna use it for something else sometime. Yes, we do use cello sheet scraps for things. Oh yeah. Just I feel like kind Even of a hoarder, but no. my sister probably is saying you are a hoarder other. <laughs> Yeah, but you know what? You just made clay out of your hoarding stuff. It's true. So. Look at that. It's awesome. So there's one done. Pop the other one off. And one done again. Get the other one done. How am I doing on time, buddy? Oh, you're three minutes past, but it's okay. Okay. Because I have things to say at the end and you guys want to hear them. So all right. Um, well, I'm I'm yeah. almost done anyway. We're good. Stuff. I know. You're doing just fine. Okay. So I'm gonna flip these over and just quickly draw in with my I'm hoping this edible marker will work. Where's my other one? I'll do this one instead. Try it. So I'm going to do need fresh edible markers. You can find them at icing images. Oh, oh yes, sorry. icing images. There you go. Because <laughs> I didn't think about that one. So I'm just adding them in wherever little little lines here, there, and everywhere to make my wings. And I'm hoping it'll show through the front. So we'll check it out because I did it backwards. Not quite. So I'm going to do it on this side then. So normally when people think uh, fairy wings, they're thinking wafer paper. Um, but now with the cello sheets, you can get like totally different effects with it. Absolutely. And thing is, you can get um, movement out of it. Like these ones, If I don't know if you can see that or not, but I, if there's a bend in this wing. So I purposely bent it to see how oh, the cello sheet would act with the ice melt bent, and it was beautiful. And it's because so you it can make it small. Flat. Thin. It can be thin on there. It doesn't have to be thick. Right. It doesn't have to be thick. It can be a really nice thin layer, and then just bend it or lay it over something. Now, this marker isn't working really well on this, but you get my gif. I mean, if I took out my paintbrush, I could paint it, but you get the drift of how it would look. But you have these ones right here, these beautiful ones. These ones I'm quite proud of. <laughs> Very nice. Here, pull I'm not super proud of her because she's so smushed, but her wings are gorgeous. But she's so adorable. She is cute. I'm not going to lie. She's cute. See, Brooke, we so, say nice things about you too. Brooke is she, adorable. She is. She's totally adorable. So now I'm not going to bother painting the other ring. I'm just going to move she's these so guys. so cute out. though. Brooke, look, she's, she's so scared. <laughs> so all I did for this is I just took a little bit. I know you could heat this with the um, my torch, but because it's so close to her, I don't want it to burn. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that little honey's glue and stick her wings on. And her head moved. Oopsie. Beautiful. All right, let me bring you up to date as to what's going on on these comments. So um, I told Brooke, I told Brooke that I owe her a drink because I've just been giving her such a, a, a hard time. And I said, one drink, Brooke. So Carol Fisher was <laughs> and Carol said, Brooke has a jug that will hold a whole bottle of champagne. I said, Corbell champagne, Brooke, Corbell. Um, and 
Brooke said to Carol, this is accurate information. And then Brooke said, I am adorable, especially when I have a bottle of champagne. <laughs> Mate, hello, hola. Hola, Mate. Okay, I, I feel like she needs hair on top of her head, so we're just gonna stick that on there. Because she looks bald. Brooke needs more, and it does, it is fitting for Brooke, you know, it's pink hair. Da, I just noticed. I am a little slow on the uptake tonight. It's because I haven't had enough coffee. <laughs> or you have okay. a lot of that champagne. Um, All right. So now we're going to smush her. Sorry, Brooke. I love you. Love you, Brooke. Her wing's going to move. It's okay. It's all good. Woo. Wow. She really, she's really, she smushed. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my yeah. gosh. Her, her mouth kind of did some weird things. So it's a bit ghoulish. Lover, you know I mean? lover. She's adorable. Like, I hope it inspires some people to make some smushed fairies. Because it's kind I of fun. Her. Don't I think my sister. The, the fairies aren't going to come get you. I think we need to do like a whole, um, we're not challenge. What do they call the collaboration of smushed items on windshields yes what do you guys think I, I think it's great you know we've done a couple collabs before but this is very unique i don't think anybody including mitchy has ever done a smushed things on windshields before well i think we should because that would be very fun i think we should too who can organize it because you know i can't <laughs> I vote Lori. <laughs> no, Lori's got some huge projects right now. She can't. <laughs> oh my gosh. She's got so, 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 so much. <laughs> okay. okay. So, <laughs> my other project. Wait, first I have to tell you what Brooke said. <laughs> oh gosh. Brooke says that she's going to make a smooshed Heather. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my gosh. All right, let's see what else you got. Let's see what you got. Let's see what you got. Because okay, I got okay. announcements. So. Take the gloves off of me. Oh my gosh. Take the gloves off. off. Oh, those things are so tight. Okay, I have to take you down. Okay. Hello. Hey, it's smooth feather. It is. Well, not quite. That's going to happen after Brooke. So, <laughs> last time you wanted to see my my studio and I wouldn't show you because it was a disaster. Mm -hmm. I cleaned it. You want to see it? Yeah, yes. Everybody wants to see it, right, guys? Oh, there goes my light. Whoops. How do I turn it <laughs> away? Oh, I can't turn it away, can I? I don't know. Okay. So this is my sprinkle wall. Ooh. And I love my, the way they're all arranged. There's my printer over there, my microwave, all my fun awesome. stuff. Over there. That's the storage area. Uh -huh. And then I have a whole bunch of, can you see my workbenches? I think we can see the one you were working on. There's my workbenches. Yeah. Turn nice. My fridge over there. Yeah. And then now this is your little she shed, right? If well, remember, sort of. This is, it's part of my house. Yeah. And there's some of my stuff over there that my Oh, how cute. Is. Who's looking at um, this? This is this was our living room. Okay. And it ended up flooded in February. And uh -huh. I took it over as my gotcha. Studio. gotcha. So I figured since it was being redone, it might as well be mine. <laughs> exactly. Why not? Who okay. uses a living room these days anyway? It's true. So this is what I was working on. Ooh. She's beautiful. I, the hair is wild. Her hair is corn silk. Okay. That makes sense. So that's what and that what are you making this for? Just for me. Okay. So this is um, wafer paper. Okay. It's your wafer paper and sprayed with um, paper potion. Gotcha. And then I used airbrush color to, to dye it. Right. But that's been made for a month 
Wow. And I can still move it. It's so cool. Yeah, that's that paper potion, man. And then this is the Flex. Flex Frost. Yes, Flex Frost. Yeah. Is what I did for. It looks like you used the back side of the, fle the Flex Frost. Is that correct? No, I uh, used the front. Oh, OK. Kind of look back like. Back. OK. There's the back. Uh-huh. Right there, the shiny. Gotcha. OK. And then the mat is on the is the French. Yep. Gotcha. Keep moving her the wrong way. So yeah, so she is my evil fairy. Gotcha. And guys, we still have some black flex frost in stock. Here and it is. I'm so glad. I that. It's awesome. Yeah. And it worked so well for this project. And I can also yes. move her her hood up and down. So that's kind of cool. Oh, that's cool. Get off. Yeah. That's yeah. Cool. Okay. So that's awesome. awesome sauce. Yeah. There's my tour. Yay! Everybody loves tours. Everybody <laughs> loves tours. Okay. <laughs> so what do you have to uh, do? Well, um, first of all, before I forget, because I always forget to say who's coming next week. Next week we got Tammy Varella. She's Yay! coming back. Yay, Tammy! I don't know if she's still on or not, but but if she is, we just gave her a shout out. So definitely come back and see her. She's always amazing in the things that she makes. Um, and all right, so I got to catch you on, up on everything that went on at IBI, IBIE. So um, for those of you who don't know, IBIE is a show that comes around every three years in Vegas. And I've gone as long as I can remember. It's it's been a long time. So. Um, it's more like um, they have ovens there and big, huge mixers and big, huge sheeters. Everything's bigger. Um, so so it's, it is really cool to walk around because it's like, oh, never thought of the fact that we have to do this and that's where it comes from. It's kind of that kind of place. Um, and, you know, whisks that are ginormous, you can bat with them. Um, so hold on, let me just see what they're saying. Yeah, Brooke, you do need to come on soon. So we will get you a link. Um, and Norma says, great de demo, adorable pieces of art. And okay, so I was just catching up because Lori's now texting for me. Um, so anyway, um, we of course brought Big Blue and we ran Big Blue for four days because the show's like four days long. Everything's bigger in Vegas. I'm supposed to say Texas, but it really is in Vegas. Um, <laughs> and, and it was nuts. People were going nuts over Big Blue. Now, when we showed Big Blue, what were we last? We were at IDDBA, but um, I guess when we maybe did a live, I'm, I think that's when it was. A lot of people were concerned because it, you know, Big Blue is not a tiny little thing. That's why it's called Big Blue. And by the way, Big Blue is a direct food printer. It prints directly on the food. Um, and it can do anything from little tiny things to Big Blue can do a half sheet cake. So it's anything, amazing. yeah, it's pretty darn amazing. It, it prints with our inks. It's beautiful. Our inks are kosher. It's the same inks you use with everything else. So you're used to all that good stuff. So, um, one of the requests we got previous to IBIE was, hey, you know, I really need to fit this on the counter in my kitchen because not everybody is like, like a crazy huge bakery shop. Um, and, and it's kind of like that. So we came out with Little Blue. And Little Blue is, has a nine by 13 inch bed. So it fits a quarter sheet cake. Nice. And nice. I call her a she. I don't know why, but she fits on a countertop, a standard countertop that I think they're about 25 inches wide and they fit there. Um, now she only goes up four inches, but that's okay because, you know, that's all you really need. Um, whereas Big Blue goes up eight inches. Um, and so uh, the price is a little less, but if you look at Big Blue, it's Big Blue is the same. It's just the plate inside the printing bed that is actually smaller and it reduces the size a little bit. So when we're at IBIE, where there's much bigger you know, places, they want it bigger. Okay, so we had to come out with Big Blue XL and Big Blue XL, extra large, uh, 
he, I call him the big daddy of them all. Um, <laughs> they all have their own genders. Um, you know, um, and he actually does, it's actually a little bit bigger than a full sheet cake, I believe. Um, so it's really cool because no matter kind of where you are in the spectrum, if space is a, is an, uh, is a problem for you, then we have that answer now. If it's not and you want to increase production, definitely go bigger. Um, so, it, it, and that's kind of what we were seeing there. So we actually have all three. They're not all three on the website yet because I've literally been spinning since I came back. And Brooke Taylor, I love you too. And, um, <laughs> <laughs> and I can see everything. Well. Love me. Which, uh, that's coming next. She said that in the beginning and totally ditched me. Um, but anyway, <laughs> Um, so we have all of them and they were a huge hit. Um, it was interesting, uh, also, um, at the show, there were, uh, two other companies that were there and one of them actually, I never saw before. It's, they're more like the assembly line of direct to food printers. Um, so it actually keeps going and keeps going, you know, one of those things, but those were like really expensive. Um, but their quality was good. Their ink was kosher. Um, they used all four colors. They did everything white, right. So if you ever need something even bigger, let us know. Um, but yeah, we got the we got the spectrum now. It's pretty darn cool. And we've also added a laptop fully loaded with the software. So for like three hundred bucks more, you get this laptop that fits inside any of our big blues to store. And everything's already preloaded on it. So when you get your coach uh, training, which is Lori, that's why she's a little too busy to do that, um, that windshield smash collaboration. Somebody still has to volunteer, Carol. Um, then, <laughs> <laughs> um, called out, Carol. <laughs> yes. Um, but um, then you're not spending your training time waiting for software to download it's all on there it's dedicated to that printer it fits right inside makes life easy hello marcia um so that's all there for you and um that's all i can tell you <laughs> that's There's awesome. some other stuff but i can't tell you yet um so um so yeah so that's like really thrilling and i'm excited about that um we, we like to listen to the things you say, and obviously Big Blue is important because it can drum up more, more volume with less working time. Um, we, when talking with people there, I think what was cool was that um, we realized that the operating cost, you know, the cost to run the thing after you buy it is under a penny per item, like uh, well under. Um, so even if you mess up a thousand times, um, it, it's still the, the costs are so minuscule, minuscule is the best word. So you're not buying the papers, you're not buying uh, cartridges because it has that continuous ink tank that you just pour that water in. That's what this oh, means. Wow. Um, yeah. So it's like pretty darn amazing. Um, so um, I was very excited about that, that we can put those together pretty quick for you because it's, it's just the same machine. It's just the bed gets smaller or bigger direct depending on what you want um we released a little tiny funny video i think it's funny i was laughing while i did it not as yeah so um so no carol i cannot tell you um because i can figure out the best way to market what i want to market um so, but it's pretty cool uh i think it is some people i you never know these days anyway um i can't tell you um so but i will as soon as i can so Anyway, so I think um, that's all I have. Oh, I know, I know, I know. So I'm leaving like tomorrow, I'm gonna go visit my son. And then I'm driving out to Texas because next Saturday, not next Saturday, the 16th, um, we are actually um, gonna be in Houston at the last lo the lo local pastry, uh, I don't know how to pronounce it. Um, it is in Spanish. Um, it, Lori and I will be there running the bilingual booth. Thank God Mate is coming. Anyone else <laughs> who's bilingual, please come or it's going to be hilarious and that's fine. I, I am deficient in the language arts department. 
Um, so definitely come and help us, um, but we'll figure it out. We always have before and we will again. Um, anyway, uh, so we will be there. That's in Houston, Texas. Um, we posted the information in our email today and I'm sure we'll be updating it as well on social media. And anyone who has seen Adriana Bolan, B B I can't pronounce her last name because I want to say Baloney and I know it's not pronounced that way. Um, she's been on before. She's that amazing wafer paper artist. Um, mm -hmm. She's coming to Houston. And then we are both going, um, which should be funny because she speaks Spanish. I speak English. Thank God her son's going to be there, who is bilingual. But we will be traveling to Orlando and we will end up at the Sweet Chalet with Marissa Valentine. Um, and we will have like a long weekend event um, that's going to be. So if the 16th is a Sunday, like the 23rd of October, that weekend, the 23rd. So it's going to be like the 20th, which is my birthday, all the way through that Monday, somewhere Wait, right around there. What? Did you say your birthday is the 20th? Yeah. My birthday. <gasps> you know what? You're so awesome. Yeah. yeah. We're birthday sisters. We're birthday buds. Air high five. Wait, I'm over here. No, wrong way. <laughs> Here, wait, right here. Here we go. Right there. There's my big yeah. hand. There. <laughs> birthday buds. Yeah. That's really awesome. So, yeah. So, um, Brooke says, I would be no help at all, but it would be fun. <laughs> oh, my gosh, Brooke. Oh, my gosh. Um, <laughs> I know birthday buddies. Yay. Birthday buds. Woohoo. So, anyway. <laughs> That's all I got to say now. I got everything out. I'm very excited. I have a birthday buddy. I haven't had a birthday buddy in years. Everybody's been around my birthday, like the 21st or 19th. My son is the 18th, um, the one in Austin. So, and Brooke, no, you are not wrong. So she's going to come with her little champagne bucket and a straw. <laughs> <laughs> her bucket. Bucket and a straw. <laughs> yep. So anyway, well, guys... I want to thank you so much. This is really a choice of advertising. Carol, if I told you what this is, oh my God, I would, oh my gosh, especially on this live. Oh my gosh, it would be hilarious. So um, <laughs> not, not happening. Um, not happening. We have to finish testing first. Um, so Kate is on the 16th. All right, Kate. Woohoo. Woo another one. Yep. So. Um, For the almost <laughs> Halloween babies. Yes, exactly. Brooke says, Brooke says it, it's at least an inconspicuous <laughs> champagne container. <laughs> Brooke, sweetie, Brooke, there's nothing <laughs> inconspicuous about you. Sydney, many straws, Brooke. <laughs> exactly, exactly. Oh my gosh, we gotta make ice and malt straws for that. Oh, anyway. that's so funny. Yeah. Oh my gosh, look at my hair. It popped up. <laughs> Boing. Um, it's so funny like to go back and watch the different lives and see which way my hair is going. That <laughs> That's why I put mine in a ponytail holder so it wouldn't be like all over the place. Oh, I look horrible when I pull it back. See? <laughs> don't. I have a big head. No, you don't. I have a fine. big head. It's big. Look at that because I'm bald on top. Anyway. All right. <laughs> I can make champagne flavored isomalt straws. <laughs> <laughs> oh Lord, oh, Lord help us. So at any rate, um, thank you guys so much for making this awesome and fun. Heather, you've been wonderful as always. I love having you on. I can't, <laughs> I just want this to continue. You know, can you tell it's almost 8.30 and we're still I chatting? Know, it's fine. Hard. <laughs> it's totally fine. Uh, Lynn, I'm thank happy you. I'm happy to anytime. All right. Well, you got the link, girl. Sign it up. Um, we're actually pretty far out now, but um, yep, yep. So definitely sign up, um, you know, because um, yeah. Anyway. All right, guys. Thank you so much. God bless you all. Please uh, stay safe during the storm. We'll be praying for all of you who yes. are in this huge path um, and uh, we wish you well in safety. Um, get out of town if you can and you should kind of listen because I'm hearing they're saying too bad if you stay we're not going to help you so um, I have a house 
I won't be in it. Come on. <laughs> Well, and if it's anything like what Fiona was here, our mm -hmm. East Coast was, there were so many communities that are just destroyed. They're flattened. Like, yeah. it, was, it was bad. It was really bad. Um, so, yeah, if they say to evacuate, get out, go somewhere yeah. safe. Yeah. And most of these people who are on from Florida have been through many, many, many hurricanes. So, I guess it's kind of nothing for them. For us, it's probably a big deal. Yeah. But. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you. We will see you next week with Tammy. And until then, happy decorating, guys. Thank you so much for making this so enjoyable. Thanks. Thanks so much, Heather. Bye, guys. You're welcome. Bye, guys.